Hey guys, it's Jamie here from Pulse Barbecue. Uh, today on the grill, we're cooking up some reverse seared smoked chicken legs. They're, they're gonna be so delicious. Uh, they don't even take a whole lot of time. I'm gonna put all the show notes in the, in the description box below, so make sure you check those out, uh, as well as the links that I'll put down there for you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel up above uh, or down below. And other than that, let's get cooking. So what you're gonna need is some chicken leg quarters. You're gonna need some oil, and some barbecue rub. We're using our Southern Country rub. This stuff is so good. And lastly, you're gonna need one large Ziploc bag. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your oil and you're gonna liberally uh, coat the chicken legs with it. This is gonna help the rub stick to the outer layers of the chicken. After the chicken legs have been liberally coated with your favorite barbecue rub, uh, you're gonna wanna place them into the Ziploc bag and let them marinate uh, for about three hours before it goes onto the grill. So we're about 30 minutes through this cook and I want to show you the color of this chicken. You can see that the smoke has, has begun to infuse into the meat. The rub is, is giving it some color. And so now we're going to take uh, some of our, our sauce and we're going to just glaze it quickly. It's just going to make it look incredible. So we're going to do that and then let it cook a, a little bit longer and before we sear it. All right, so the chicken is fully done now, and the last thing we need to do is move it from indirect heat to direct heat, meaning moving the chicken directly over the coals and uh, flip it over onto the skin, let, let, let that skin get nice and crispy, sear it off nicely. You'll see a lot of flames, and you'll see the color just sort of escalate. So that's how you make a reverse seared smoked chicken leg. It's super easy, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, le let me know in the comment section below how you liked it, how yours turned out, and also uh, what you want to see us cook next. Uh, until then, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Oopsies.